All right, so I have completely messed up this table. Like, absolutely working on the T440P, but I've got my, what is this, CH3, what is it, CH341A programmer. You can pick these up for like less than 10 bucks on Amazon. Uh, but these, this is what you'll need to be able to flash the BIOS. Now, I've heard a lot of people complain about these clips before. Um, like a lot of people use different ones and complain about this. We're going to see how this goes. This is my first time, you know, core booting or like just modifying the BIOS on any computer, much less a ThinkPad. Like I, I've just, I've never done this. So uh, I've got a build to get, or what, what is it? Hold on. The Tiano Core EDK2 build guide. So this is a core boot guide using Tiano Core, which as far as I know, again, I'm like, this is all new stuff to me. So uh, as far as I know, this uh, is like the UFI version of core boot, uh, like the UFI build or like payload. So I should, like I, I have my OpenBSD boot drive, which is here in this disk partition, like her drive caddy, um, because this right here, I'm gonna eventually put in a mSATA to um, SATA adapter and have an M, M card slot in here. And then over here, I'm gonna cut airflow holes in the side of the case on that side. I'm gonna cut some airflow holes for down here so that I can have a another cooler that goes off of this one right over here. I want to have another one that, like a, just a regular cooler that uh, I'm gonna solder or get the heat sink, heat pipe coming off of here and going, like this one goes up here, this one's gonna come down here. And so hopefully that'll give this 4910MQ some more cooling capacity. But you can also see I've upgraded 16 gigabytes of RAM. It, uh, like 16 gigabytes of DDR3 at good latency and um, decent speed. I just got 1600 um, with a low cat cast latency because it doesn't really matter. Um, this is like 15 bucks. Like RAM for these older ThinkPads is phenomenally cheap. So if you want to do a RAM upgrade, it's not expensive. But um, yeah, so I'm going to continue on with this guy. This is my mother's HP here. Uh, this is her Ubuntu laptop that she, I wouldn't say loves, but needs. <laughs> uh, HP does not make the best laptops, but this is hers. Um, and so I've got all the software I need on here. Um, you know, the guide walks you through what you need to install and everything. It's got pictures. And this dude, as far as I know, uh, posted on Reddit, just uh, a compilation of different guides um, and just put it all into one uh, for the 14, T440P, and that's what I've got here. And now uh, you will notice here, this is where I got my USB-C mod. I did actually have to pull out all of the super glue around here, so you'll see it's not in there because I had it pushed up out here and like blocking uh, where I couldn't take off the bottom cover anymore. So I had to had to get rid of that and like remove it a bit, but all I've got to do is secure it back in there and we're done. All right, so I have finished with the core booting of this laptop. I've already tested it and everything, been playing around with it. And so I just thought I'd go ahead and like, I, I've probably got an earlier recording I'm just stitching this onto. So let me go ahead and say, the guide that I started with on Reddit for the Lenovo T440P was kind of working. It just wasn't working when it got to like the actual part to build the Git checkout. Everything would, I, I just encountered problems there. I know, or I'm pretty sure that one is based off of this article here. I'll try and get it to where you can see the link, but, um, this guide right here, I kind of mixed and matched. When I had my problems, I went over here, tried the this version of everything, and um, it seemed to work just fine. So I, I, I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I got a compiled build. It is actually core booted and everything. Now, I did not know about this. OpenBSD is my operating system of choice, and I can't use it 
on a core booted ThinkPad. Um, all the posts that I found about core boot uh, ThinkPads and OpenBSD were saying that it wouldn't detect hard drives and um, Ethernet, but none of them exactly mentioned this model. And after the fact, I can tell you on this model, it, OpenBSD will not recognize the hard drive nor the Ethernet. So that's a problem. I was also under the impression that um, Tiano Core here, like you can see, I'm, it's like using Tiano Core EDK2, whatever. I'm, I'm super not familiar with all this stuff yet, but I thought that was for like UFI booting and stuff. And this thing does not boot with UFI. It, it just doesn't. It loads up a C BIOS payload and like just it only seems to work with regular BIOS, which is fine. I, I really don't give a shit. Uh, I'm, I'm more concerned with the fact that I've got a free BIOS on there and the Intel management engine's gone. Uh, and, you know, me not being able to run OpenBSD is like not that great, but I'm doing just fine. I'll go ahead and turn this thing on so you can see. I don't even have it plugged in. So uh, you can see, boots up, C scrub, and then it just loads in and you can actually as far as i'm aware that is actually the intel management engine freaking out because like it can't like i i have the tpm chip turned off and um it just it freaks out so good very good uh, i am running debian on it uh because i just i don't really want to put nix on this thing i kind of would like to have it be something that's i don't know like stable and like more minimal. Um, Nix is fine, but I just have a feeling if I install Nix on this thing, it's going to get bloated really quick. And I, I don't want that on this machine. So thanks for watching the video. If you've got any questions about the process, let me know. Um, I can tell you this. If you forget and put your little clip from your programmer um, the wrong way on the chip, uh, it's okay. Nothing's going to blow up. It just won't be able to write or, you know, do anything with it. So, um, yeah, I actually wired, I actually had it clipped on the wrong way at one point. And I was like, why in the hell can't this thing read? And then I remembered, I was like, oh shit. Yeah. I didn't even check if it's in the right orientation, but yeah, uh, solid, solid computer. Love it.